There's even more fallout happening from this U.S. sanctions on Tornado Cash. Which of the biggest DeFi platforms is thinking of making a major change? That's what we're talking about today in this video. If you guys are interested, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, check out the CT Club if you haven't done so yet. We're posting a lot of content on what we're doing with our cryptos during the spare market, especially which altcoins we are definitely finding profits in as well. Check out that link. Um, so we're talking about MakerDAO today. MakerDAO and their algorithmic decentralized stablecoin DAI has been around for many years now, since what, like 2016, 2017, around there. Uh, they've survived several cycles of bear markets and bull markets. Uh, and they are also one of the largest DeFi platforms according to total value locked on the Ethereum ecosystem. So that's huge. MakerDAO is a huge component of the DeFi platforms, uh, the DeFi scene on Ethereum. Now, what does this have to do with Tornado Cash? Well, like I said in the, the last video talking about it, Circle showed us just how centralized USDC is, and Tether can do the same thing, by the way, uh, when they can freeze uh, funds, they can blacklist wallets, they can have complete centralized control over the movements of those stable coins. That is not a good look for this permissionless, uh, open source, autonomous cryptocurrency space that we're trying to build here. Now, what's happened over the years with MakerDAO is um, basically they have a minting process with their stablecoin DAI where you can use many different forms of collateral to mint DAI. Ethereum being an obvious option. Also, other stablecoins have been used over the years. And because of that, over 80% of MakerDAO is now comprised of other stable coins with over half of that, over half of the collateral of MakerDAO is made up of USDC. So a lot of people are concerned now with, uh, you know, the obvious centralized control with Circle and USDC. Can that play an effect on MakerDAO? Absolutely. It's something I've been talking about for years is that when the rubber meets the road, when really things come down to it, the centralized aspects of cryptocurrencies, when they get pinched by regulators or governments, they will bend the knee. Um, and to be robust against that, you, ha you have to be decentralized. Um, and so now, you know, MakerDAO is kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because on one side there's people criticizing them for having this centralized stablecoin as a majority of their collateral. On the other hand, what's their other option? Selling USDC for Ethereum. That's something that uh, the DAO of the maker DAO, the decentralized autonomous organization running this whole thing, that's what they're gonna have to decide if they're gonna do. Are they going to purposely depeg DAI from USD? Are they going to remove themselves from being a stable coin? Um, Vitalik Buterin had an opinion saying that would be disastrous and a horrible move because that is the value of DAI and MakerDAO is its stability. Now that it is pegged, uh, uh, could potentially be pegged majority to Ethereum and Ethereum is not a stable asset. It's not designed to be stable. Um, if it crashes, it could have the same effect of UST and Luna. Not a good look. So ideally, MakerDAO would have a lot more diversity within their collateral. Um, obviously, I don't know how they would achieve a stability peg to USD if they're using non-stable collateral. Uh, there's a lot up in the air for MakerDAO and it's definitely something that we all need to pay attention to. So at this point, we're in a will they, won't they stage. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think they should do and what that means for the future of MakerDAO and DeFi on Ethereum. That's gonna wrap it up for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit like, hit subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.